Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Here we're going to look at 3D issue archiving. So this is a tool where you can allow your readers of any publication to click on archive button on the left hand side of their interface and they can then be presented with a graphical library of the front covers of other perhaps related publications. So if you have a monthly magazine, why not allow them to flip between the different publications? So we're going to show you how to do that from scratch here. So we're at the very start of the 3D issue process and we're going to go ahead and quickly create a new issue. So right here I have three magazines which I'm going to show you in this demonstration. So the first of all, April 2011, I'm just going to select these PDFs to import and I'll say open. So I'm sure you know all this uh, very well, this, this start of the process. So in this section you would then come in and add in your interactivity to the pages and what have you to make your publication come to life and we won't do that today because we're just going to show you this archiving tool so when you're ready to publish this up to your website you just need to check a couple of things so first of all in the features you must check that this archive option is selected there and once that's done we're ready to publish so we go to output and we say where we want the publication to go so we're going to select online and we want to upload it to the website so I'll check upload and here's where we just need to do a few things so this is going to upload it to whatever website details you've entered here so we're going to click edit and show you this so you'd have just the name for your reference which is going to show in this drop down box here the FTP server address and your username and password on the next screen here, it brings in the structure of your website. So it's looking at the folders that comprise the 3D issue site here. And what we're going to do is where we want to store the digital editions. So I'm going to create a new folder on my website and it's going to call uh, my magazines. And OK. So once we've done that, we need to select the folder and double click into it. So any magazines that we store to this location is going to be in this folder. Then we click next. This next window is asking where you want to store the archive file. Now let me explain. This archive file is a simple text file that needs to sit somewhere on your website, anywhere at all, uh, and it's just going to hold the information about where your past publications are held. So basically a link uh, that tells the software where these publications are held and because it's a file it needs to sit somewhere on your website so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the root here 3dissue.com and as before I'm just going to create a new folder called my magazine archive now you can call this whatever you like it just needs to have a location on your website for this archive file and once before we showed you before we're going to double click into that and store our archive file there and click next. We're then presented with a summary so it's saying our address of our issue is going to be 3dissue.com in a folder called my magazines and it's going to be called whatever name I give this. The archive file is going to sit in this folder here which we don't really need to worry too much about it's just saying where the file is going to sit. So now I'm going to click next, uh, finish. So it's got all the information it needs here. Now I'm going to send this to my website. So I'm going to say build. And because I haven't saved this yet, it's asking me where I want to save the local copy. So I'll select uh, desktop here. And I'm going to call this uh, April 2011. Once I've done that, it's going to upload this publication to my website and create the archive file because this is the very first time I've done this. So we'll just wait a second for that to uh, happen. And once it's done this, we uh, get this message. So it's saying, do we want to add this publication, which is my April edition of my magazine, to the archive? And I'm going to say yes. Now, when we click this, it brings up this uh, menu structure. Now this is how your archive to your end reader is going to be structured. So we just need to say where we want to place it. 
But before we do that, we might want to rename this. So I click on archive here. I'm double clicking into that and I'm just going to say uh, past publications here. This will all make sense when we see this. So I'm then going to add my publication. This is very important to click add current publication and it's going to come under here and give this a name as well, what you want your end readers to see. So this is April. So I'll say April 2011 edition. And it automatically puts the link to that there. So once we're happy with those uh, changes, I'm going to say upload changes. And it's then created my publication and it's created my archive file. Now let's have a look at that. So I'm going to click view online. So here we are online and it's stored the publication where we asked it to, which you're already familiar with. And we have our digital edition here. Now, let's take a look at this archive. So this is our April edition. And remember we checked that option to allow people to see the archive. It's here. And there we see our archive box. So at the moment we've just got one publication in. And remember where we typed past publications in the software? and we named it April 2011 edition. So now whenever you create new editions, they can line up alongside this. So whatever publication your reader is looking at, they can just come over here, click archive and flip between the others. So with that in mind, now we've done it once, we'll create our May 2011 edition and now we'll add this to the same archive. So let's close this down and go back into the software. So here we are back in the software, so we're going to create our next edition. So I'm going to go create new, and this time our June edition. So simply highlight my pages and open. Takes me into the software where you would then come into the design section. Wait for this to load a second. Uh, you would add in your appearance, you change your interactivity options, and then we're ready to build. So we're just going to save this publication locally first, so to my desktop, and I'll call this uh, June 2011, uh, OK. And then I'm going to upload this to my website as well, so I'm going to go to Output, select Online, and Upload. I'm just going to just show you the settings again, so we came into our folder, 3 dissuecom we choose what folder this should go in, so this was going into my magazines. Remember we already have April in there, so that's fine. And the archive file, remember this one went into another folder called my magazine archive, there we go. And next. So just check those details are as they should be, and finish. And then we can upload it to our website by just clicking build. And we'll just wait a second for this to upload. And again, this message pops up. So do we want to add this to our online archive? Yes, we do. So yes. And this will be familiar to you now because this is what we created last time. So if I expand this, we already have our April edition in there. And we want our June edition to sit just alongside it. So this button here, add current publication. It goes in here and I'm going to rename this. So something useful. So June 2011 edition. And it's automatically put my uh, link there. So this button here now, upload changes. And that amends the archive file. And now I can view online. So I'm now looking at the June edition from a reader's point of view, and they can, of course, flip through the pages and view the June edition. Now, if they take their eye over here to the archive section, they select this option. And now you can see this June has been added to our past publications archive. So now there's two magazines sat here, and the end reader can just choose to view the April one by clicking on it. And up, this opens another window with the April edition in. So if I'm in the April edition and click archive, it then allows me to flip back to the June. 
So every time I create a magazine of this title, I can have the publications sat along here for the archive. Now, of course, you can have different archives for different publications. So if you have a magazine that has a different audience to this, you can just create a different archive destination for that in the 3D issue software. Now, if for any reason you want to change the structure of this, you can do so from within the software. So let me show you this. If we go back to our software, if you take your eye up to here, edit, and you'll see this option, edit remote archive. If I select this option, you can at any stage change the text or the structure of this uh, archive feature here. You can change the order around or, you know, delete them. Uh, as you like and as soon as you click upload changes and you build the publication it will refresh that with the new archive file. So that's all explaining about archiving your digital editions with 3D issue.